welcome back and thank you so much for being here today's video is all about lenses which is pretty exciting because I've never made a video about this and it's gonna be a short one hopefully okay we're gonna be talking about prime and zoom lenses I'm not gonna say which one's better but I am gonna list a few pros and cons for each lens and I'm gonna share with you how I personally use each of them like which lens I use for a certain type of photography and stuff like that if you are looking to buy a new lens and you don't know which one to choose or maybe you just really don't know the difference and you want to learn about it I hope this video will be helpful if that's the case before we begin I hope you can subscribe I post a video every Sunday but if you want to be reminded you can click the notification bell all right so let's get right to it. A prime lens is a lens that has a fixed focal length. So if you see that it just says 35mm, it's just a 35mm. A zoom lens has a range of focal lengths. That's like the simplest way to describe these two types of lenses. Fixed focal length, not fixed. Got it? Okay. So this is the Helios 58mm lens. This is a Canon kit lens, 18 to 135mm. The lens I'm using right now to film is actually a prime lens as well. I've used this lens for so many shoots. It is a 35mm. Anyway, I'm just gonna say a few pros and cons between the two so let's start with the zoom lens a lot of beginners start out with this one because it's the one that comes with your camera when you buy it so the good thing about a zoom lens is that it zooms you get to practice shooting wide and shooting up close so it's a really good thing for beginners because you get to see the differences of the focal length and how it affects your image a kit lens is pretty lightweight so it's easy to carry around another good thing about a zoom lens is that you don't necessarily have to move back and forth especially if you want to crop a frame or if you want to zoom out or oh! Especially if you're shooting landscapes, you might not have a place to stand a few feet forward or a few feet back. It's really helpful to have this if you're traveling or in the street, you don't invade people's personal space. You can just zoom in and capture the photo without annoying anybody and physically moving back and forth. So the downsides of having a kit lens or affordable zoom lenses is that it doesn't always produce the best and sharpest image. If you do want to have a zoom lens that does produce a sharper and more high quality image, it may cost more and it is a lot heavier so for the prime lens the good thing about these things is that most of the time it produces a sharp and high quality image and most of the time it is a lot lighter look how small this is but <laughs> the one I'm using to film right now is actually pretty heavy the weight really depends on the cost and the brand and one of the main reasons why people prefer a prime lens is because of the faster aperture that it has a lot of zoom lenses can only go up to an f-stop of 3.5 but a prime lens usually has a faster aperture like 1.8 1.4 1.2 and sometimes even 0.9 you get that blurred background and all that stuff however the downside of having a prime lens is that you can't zoom in and out you literally have to move forward and move back and sometimes it does cost a lot more than a zoom lens so that may be a downside for some people now that that's done personally I like both again I'm not gonna say which one's better because it really depends on what you're using it for for. I like using a zoom when shooting fashion. Unfortunately, I don't get to use it as often, but I did a shoot last April. I used a 24 to 70 millimeter and it was very easy because we were always on the move and I shot in low angle. So if you have a fixed focal length, it's sometimes hard to shoot in a low angle because you can't really zoom out, especially if you want to get a whole body shot. So I prefer using a zoom lens when shooting fashion and in events as well. And just like when shooting landscape or when I'm traveling, I I don't have to change lenses and I save a lot of time and I get different types of photos with just one lens oh my gosh my leg is dying so for the prime lens the one I'm using to film right now was the one I've used when I got into photography and I am very thankful for that because I feel like it really pushed me to be creative because I had to move back and forth I had to find angles that were appealing I was just using a 35 so it's still kind of wide and I had to use it for a lot of portraits I personally like using prime lenses for portraits because again it produces a sharper and higher quality image when I'm shooting a portrait I want the eyes to be in focus and really really sharp because I believe that's how it can connect to the viewer of the photo and when I'm shooting portraits I like using that wide aperture this lens right here it goes up to 1.4 so I like using that especially when I'm doing close-ups this one goes up to f2 so I also get a really nice background it gives a very dreamy look I also like using prime lenses 
because when I am shooting food because again it gets that dreamy look I want my food shots to look very appealing and delicious but I have to switch to a zoom lens especially when I have to do flat lays and wider shots of a lot of food so these two types of lenses really help you in different situations different types of photography depending what kind of idea you have in mind one is not better than the other they both have their own functions and their ups and downs it's actually really good to have both if you feel like you need to use the other one you can easily switch during your photo shoot or maybe when you're traveling or just taking random photos in the street so that's all I have for today I hope this video was helpful maybe you learned something new maybe not let me know in the comments below if it was helpful or if you just want to share which lens you prefer. I would really like to hear your thoughts and questions if you have any. If you want to see more content from me, you can subscribe and click the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my life. And if you like this video, you can like it. But if you don't, share it and maybe it'll help someone else. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!